Good morning, everyone. The chair, the dean of the student, former police, all police of Mali, Jesus schools, and president of all the teams, all the children, the reverend, the reverend, the staff, the reverend, the Jesus, and the policy, and the chair.
because rigid compartmentalization, early specialization, hair splitting of disciplines are short paths to unemployment in our economy or in a, an economy such as ours. And it is also antithetical to sustainability. Indeed, I was preparing the paper before working on it for delivery as a foreign university. Thank you. 
Pois é. 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 the nature of the scholarship itself because the funding will just be a facilitator it will facilitate the process so what you are doing is what's important and I'd like to urge the institution itself uh, to try to create funds of their own you know others may fund you every every funder comes with a reason and that's they want something they want a product they want the result of a certain search and so they are funding it and it's also interesting for the institution itself to be able to raise funds, to use what they were doing. And that's why I refer to what we were doing during my time. I asked myself if all of us, if the public is right in saying that there are intellectuals here, both the students and the lecturers, then we should, we should be in a position to supply some of our needs and then maybe leave the government to take care of those who cannot. Okay. So what are our needs? And we listed a long list, and we prioritize the list, and we pick the few, and we try to operationalize them. So that is why you see the School of Agriculture structured the way it is. That is why we are producing our water detergent. I wanted us to go on to do paper products and other things. And I'm very happy to note that this has turned into a whole section of is it entrepreneurship or something like that. I'm very happy about that. And even more importantly, was to allow students to have places where they can do internship on campus, supervised by the people who taught them. They know the level of training they've given them, the level of, of knowledge, and what they should be having the entrepreneurship for. Okay, so that we also uh, become a space where private people doing their businesses in town or in the region can also send people to us to train. Um, or to give them the opportunities for practical work. And I felt that this was also one of the ways of doing community work, you know, um, and so many other things. And also giving confidence to the students that yes, they can identify problems and yes, they can solve them. Thank you very so much. You talked about a um, uh, manifesto of the various political parties, that it should be something that is uh, uh, research oriented. No, no, what I was saying was that we need a national development plan and that we have one. We have the 40 year development plan. This was done with everybody's inputs, whether they are political parties or unions or individuals or industry, everybody came to be part of it. So we should own it nationally. And if the, if the manifestos are derived from that, then there won't be breaks, you know. And I also refer to the Africa We Want 2063, I refer to SDGs and all of them. So they have cycles. It is a 40-year plan. Can we break it into five-year cycles, into four-year cycles about what should be done? So that, yes, we all know, for example, that, oh, we want our education to get to this level at this time. We want our health system to be here at this time. So when you come in, maybe it's about how you do it. That will show the differences. And not because, oh, I'll do, uh, I don't know how to do free SHS. I'll also do free primary. You will do free TV. You will do, I mean, then you see that it won't be properly coordinated. 
even though a lot of money and a lot of efforts may have gone into it. So when we have a plan, we have agreed on. And it's, I mean, many countries have done that and they've made good progress. Okay, uh, I remember the case of Malaysia. They had a blueprint for a 10-year 10 10 educational plan and they followed it. So we are here complaining they've passed. Why wouldn't they pass you? Okay. Thank you.